Hi everyone, this is Chief Chapri of SorryTinChow.com. Today we are in for a special treat here at the Post Malaysia Brickfields because we are going to check out Post Malaysia's electric vehicle fleet. Here, this is the Modenas MEV1 and behind me is the CAM EC35 electric van. So come, let's join me. Post Malaysia aims to transform 28% of its fleet to green vehicles by 2025 before ramping up further to 100% by 2030. At the moment, it has deployed 143 electric vans in 33 locations throughout Malaysia. The main electric van that the National Postal and Parcel Service Provider is currently using is the CAM EC35, which was leased from Yinsen Green Tech. Capable of carrying total payload of around 1,000 kg, the EC35 is equipped with a single 80 horsepower motor that also produces 200 Nm of torque and has a top speed of 100 km an hour. Powered by a 38.7 kWh LFP battery, the van is able to deliver WLTP rated range of 268 km. The EC35 can support DC fast charging of up to 40 kW in addition to 6.6 kW AC charging. Aside from EC35, Yinsen Green Tech has also provided Post Malaysia with Maxus eDeliver 3 and Photon iBlue EV for evaluation purposes. Post Malaysia has also deployed 110 electric motorcycles in 22 locations across the country. Truth be told, the company has several electric motorcycle models in its fleet and this particular model that you're seeing is called MEV1. Supplied by Modenas through Avis Malaysia, this electric motorcycle is actually a rebranded Super Soko VS1 with the ability to support a total payload of up to 150 kg and that excluding the rider. This bike has been fitted with a 4.7 horsepower motor which also produces 42 Nm of torque and has a maximum speed of 80 km an hour. Powered by a pair of 2.7 kWh batteries, the MEV1 has a range of up to 140 km. Although, to reach this range, the bike must maintain an average speed of 45 to 50 km an hour. What made the MEV1 slightly different from the original Super Soko VS1 is the implementation of this particular parking brake switch by Modenas. It allows Abang Postman to safely park the electric motorcycle without turning it off when they have to go off the bike to deliver letters or packages to customers. As for the other electric motorcycle models in its fleet, Post Malaysia didn't provide us with much information. But we do know that the company has previously utilized Eclimo ES11 and has also tested Blue Shark R1 and Ride EV Hyper. Aside from its commitment to sustainability, the implementation of EV also goes hand in hand with Post Malaysia's effort to modernize and optimize its fleet. Telematics plays heavily into the company's fleet optimization strategy. Aside from tracking the vehicle's whereabouts and energy consumption, it also allows Post Malaysia to monitor the driver's behavior on the road, which in hand helps the company improve the safety of its fleet. All CAM EC35 electric vans that Post Malaysia leased from Jason Green Tech have been fitted with cloud-based telematic system which can provide near real-time data and analytics. So, does electric vehicles affect the work routine of Abang Postman? Well, let's ask them directly. Nama saya Muhammad Azrul Al Rashid. Uh, dah bekerja dalam post ni dalam lebih kurang 15 tahun lah. Uh, right, uh, abang dah berapa lama? Uh, start bawa van electric. Oh, saya start bawa dalam 3-4 bulan ni lah. 3-4 uh, bulan. So, uh, jadi apa perbezaan utama antara bawa uh, van diesel atau van petrol dengan van electric? Okay, yang paling utama sekali, dia lebih comfort lah, senyap. Uh, tak bunyi leasing macam uh, van diesel yang sebelum ni kan. Daripada segi cici di keselamatan ni pun lagi better daripada yang lama. Selain daripada tu, tak ada bawa asap lah. Tak ada bawa asap. Ah, 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 itu yang paling ketara ah, ni lah. Ah, Tapi selesai. Kan? Kan? Ah. Bang dah lama kan dalam hmm. post Malaysia. So jadi ada ada tak macam gangguan pada rutin bila abang start bawa uh, van elektrik? Oh, tak ada gangguan pun. Kita boleh buat macam rutin seperti biasa. Ha yeah. ah, tak ada ganggu. Dia sama je lah Macam kita ambil barang, scan buat keluar masuk dalam dalam van tak ada masalah. Dengan ruang ni ada dia pun tak ada masalah pun nak buat kerja macam biasa. Ha ah. ah, so dia 
tak banyak beza sangat dari segi ruang kan hmm. ha, tapi cuma kita cakap sebelum ni dia lagi comfort lah hmm. safety hmm. kan dengan ciri-ciri yang ada pun kan Abang kena cari hari-hari ke? Ah ha, tak dua hari dua hari sekali ha, bergantung pada kan delivery ah average delivery ha. tapi biasanya dua hari sekali dia charge kan walaupun oh. dia tak tak awake pun kita still charge recharge bagi full recharge ha. ha. first kali abang kena charge kat mana boleh charge oh, kat luar ke dekat belakang kat belakang memang ada tempat ha. charge ha. kalau van petrol van ha, diesel kan memang kena isi dekat petrol pump ah ha. 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 sekarang ni kalau saya bagi macam abang pilihan ha. van diesel van petrol atau van elektrik mana satu yang abang prefer Oh, ya EV lah betul. Hmm. Ha. betul. Dah, dah start pakai memang. Ha, kalau dah start pakai memang kata orang benda tu lagi better lah daripada ha. yang sebelum ni kan. Sebab benda pun baru, features ha. pun baru ha. dengan safety. Well, I hope you enjoy our little experience going together with Abang Post Laju sending your packages and mails with your electric van. Get ready to see more of this as Post Malaysia expand their electric fleet. So, let us know what you think in the comment section below and please stay tuned for more EV content here at soyachinchow.com My name is Chief Chapri and I'll see you in the next one.